Hello everyone, and welcome back to the next episode of DRNG. Today, for the last episode, we'll be doing the gunner. Now I really didn't understand it going into it, but this is one of the most sluggish and horrible builds that I've ever used in this game. I really hope this video conveys just how hard it is to use this weapon set. It's just so sluggish. But regardless, let's go ahead and hop into the build, and I hope you enjoy. Alright, gunner time. This will be the last one, and uh, it's going to be uh, pretty in down the middle. I'm not sure how it's going to perform looking at it right now. But we have the Hurricane with Plasma Burster Missiles, uh, Fire Plasma Burster Missiles, a non-functional mod in Tier 2, and Damage. So, hopefully this will be okay. It seems alright. And then we have a pretty bog-standard coil gun with a clean overclock. And we have the Overcharge mod, so we'll want to be doing big shots with it. We have damage power attack on the pickaxe, the biggest shield possible, and pretty average zip lines, except it doesn't have the disconnection protection, so no fall damage reduction bonus, sticky grenades, and a pretty decent armor spec, only thing we're missing out on is health. Perk wise, we have vampire, deep pockets, second wind unfortunately, berserker, and hover boots. I already randomized the cosmetics for both my guns, and let's go ahead and randomize the cosmetics for the pickaxe and armor. Oh wow, that's pretty strikingly similar to my normal gunner pickaxe, okay. Not too bad, and let's see what kind of calamity we have here. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Just because this is pretty similar to the one we had on Scout, we'll go ahead and randomize one more time. Alright, that's, that's a little bit more, a little bit more normal. Alright, without further ado, the last step is to pick a random mission to play. So we're going to use Rancor's Rig HUD on the right side of the screen, and a Google Random Number Generator to pick a number between 1 and 8, and play that mission. And we get number 1. So we'll be playing this Low Gravity Mactera Plague Egg Hunt in Salt Pits. Alright, let's get started. Alright, Plasma Burster Missiles. This will be pretty interesting fights for sure, but I think we'll be okay. Main priority is just get some Nitra. We'll be okay from there. Two free pearls immediately. I hear a lot of bugs on the other side of this wall. And hit them with the overcharge. Let's see if I can snake a plasma missile through here. Nah, not quite. This might work out. Now if I had some choice in what I was to take as my secondary, I'd definitely go with volatile bullets for this build. But we're stuck with the coil gun. Fire is definitely a nice addition to supplement our damage. Still gonna be pretty rough though. We have an absolutely absurd amount of ammo on this coil gun, so we'll try to use that to our advantage. Oh, the triple gunk seed shot? Let's see. Okay, the AoE on that doesn't hit. That's a shame. Alright, biggest shield possible. This will be Mac Terra Plague, so I want to stay as much in this tunnel as I can. So I have incredibly low recharge speed on the shield. This is very... This, While this build is doing okay, I, I will say that it feels really, really bad. Like, it just feels like my weapons don't have any impact at all. They feel really slow and cumbersome. Oh, that's death. Damn. The low grab isn't helping either. I just feel like I'm moving around in soup. Honestly, at a glance, I didn't think this would be the hardest one, but I think this is the worst build out of all of them. I just don't have anything punchy or anything I can use quickly for reactions.
Okay. Hopefully once we get a re resupply, everything will be okay. But I don't have high hopes right now. Okay, also looking at a prospector over there. That's not ideal. Hopefully that trail doesn't clip him. I still don't have... Oh, no, I do have a resupply now. Alright, once that resupply lands, I'm going to have to deal with this prospector. Because the odds of me hitting him accidentally here is very high. We might actually be able to burn patrol bots with these missiles. Probably not, though. Yep, looks like a hard no. Maybe if I use a few more. It overall, looks like a no. Also, these shredders are absolutely menacing. Stickies are honestly the most direct reactive damage that I have to anything here, which is really scary. so much ammo in this coil gun it's just so cumbersome to actually use it it's hard enough to even get the cursor on the shredders for these missiles to hit keep firing to actually get a burn. Okay, there's one. If anyone wasn't aware, a coil gun is not really a direct damage weapon. More about AoE. Definitely getting this patrol bot up. And on my side. Okay, hopefully that's going to be the hardest part of this mission, but we do still have a lot of Mac Terra to fight, so got to stay on my toes. This patrol bot is saving the day, pulling aggro for me. missiles just don't kill these Mac Terra in a good amount of time. It's so sad. Alright. Two eggs. We're making our way there. Okay, next egg. Primary is very, very light on ammo for sure. That's hurting us a lot as well. Alright. Moving on to this egg. I'm try to jump around this edge. That's not good. One of those grenades landed, at least. Goal was accomplished. Alright. Let's get ourselves up out of this pit. Picked the obviously the worst time to use hover boots there. I thought I was going to be able to hop my way up to the ledge, but did not work out that way. 
No. Never mind. I will never get used to using this overcharge mechanic. seed and we'll be done with that and we can just focus on eggs they're about as far apart as they can be though which is sad there we go get one more brick of resupply before the swarm Head down towards the next egg. I think it should be through this tunnel. Yeah, I can get to it through here at least. Get one close range sticky, not bad. The longer I keep these tri jaws in the tunnel, the better, because they'll be hitting there. Their allies and also themselves if they're really bad. This is definitely not the environment to be using this overclock though. Oh good! A hidden treasure. Okay, that's definitely a shield moment. Almost out of this. Just dealing with that six to eight business day weight on damage from either of these weapons. It's a little bit rough. If you have vampire, I'll try to use it. Don't, not planning on needing another resupply, but I'll probably use it. I believe this is our ne our second and last swarm, so we'll just be ready to get out of here after this. Oh no, I guess we had the second one already. That'll show me to pay attention. Alright, and we are getting out of here. We'll just head back up the tunnel we came down, not make this any more complicated than we have to. Basically good. We got a lot of pearls in this mission too. Hello sir, spawning in front of me. Do you mind? Alright. I was uh that was definitely on the rougher end of things, but we got through it. But that's about all for the gunner build and DRNG as a whole for the time being. More series on the horizon though, so stay tuned. If you'd like to join and be a YouTube member and get your name in the credits of every video, as well as some other perks that are listed if you press the button, you can check out the join button down below. If you'd like to catch me live, I stream over on Twitch. If you'd like to talk to me or my community members about random DRG builds, you can find us over on Discord. And as always, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.